What's going on guys? Uh, sorry for the shaky footage and sorry for, uh, I don't know how it's going to turn out. I'm actually shooting this on my phone. As you guys can see, it's a pretty lousy day. Um, we got Castobal, I think is what it's called. It's like a tropical storm hit Louisiana and we're getting some pretty bad rain, uh, rain bands. And, um, so I knew I wasn't going to be able to do much on the uh, on the nice camera today, and so I'm just hoping that this turns out pretty well. I'm um, just shooting it on my my phone, um, but I got a pretty decent phone, so we'll see how it turns out. Um, but anyway, I'm out here with the kids. Before we get started, I tell you what we're doing. Make sure you guys uh, subscribe to the channel, um, ring that notification bells for future content, and um, let's get started. So today we're picking blackberries. I was out on the mower and as I was uh, riding by, I noticed a massive, massive amount of blackberries. And so one thing the kids absolutely love to do is uh, kind of go out, pick blackberries. And this time what I'm gonna try to do is I'm actually gonna try to go ahead and uh, pick enough blackberries to where possibly Chelsea might be able to make a blackberry jam. Now, she's never made a blackberry jam, I don't think. Have you? I've never made jam. She's never made jam, so we're <laughs> we'll see how this turns out. We're going to uh, go ahead and look on uh, the intro net and try to find a good recipe and, and uh, walk you guys through it on the channel. So, should be fun. That is so many blackberries. Can you eat any of them? Yeah, you can eat some of them. There's plenty. Huh? Get Nana to hold your bag. Oh, you wanted to open. You understand baby language? Yeah. How many you got, Maddie? Holy mackerel. And we got three kids out here picking right now, which means we should have a whole bunch of blackberries before we head out. You over, here, you over here talking smack about me not wa lotioning up my hands? No. Isaac says you have invincible hands. Like, I do have invincible hands. You never lotion your hands. They're like cowhide. They're like cowhide. Have I lotioned my hands before? Oh, shoot. Have you? Mm, I don't know. What you doing, Patrick? Picking berries? Yeah. So this is actually all natural wild blackberries that are on the on the farm out here in the back. Dixie's wanting to play with monster. These are all wild blackberries um, on the farm, and there are tons of them. I mean, as I'm looking, as I'm looking all in here. Ooh, look at all those. Anyway, so that's what we're doing. And then when we get done with this, we'll, uh, I don't know. <laughs> It'll be an adventure in the kitchen. Hi guys, um, my name is Chelsea. I don't think you guys, maybe you've seen me on camera before. Um, you haven't heard me talk a lot. There's probably a reason for that. Um, I'm not super comfortable in front of the camera, but today we're gonna 
make blackberry jam together. We went over to the farm this morning while it was raining and we had all the kids pick a ton of blackberries. We've got enough to make our recipe here. Of It seems to be like it's going to be pretty simple. Just two cups of blackberries, two tablespoons of lemon juice, and two cups of sugar. Now, I've never made jam before, so we're going to go through it together and hopefully it turns out okay. Um, the recipe says that the jam is going to bubble up a lot. So I've got our tallest sauce pot that we have and we're going to start measuring the two cups of blackberries. We have plenty left over. If this recipe turns out to be pretty good, then we'll have enough left over to make more jam. So we're going to turn the heat on high and we're going to get our potato masher and we're going to mash the blackberries by themselves with nothing else until for about a minute until it gets really hot and bubbly. We're going to put the recipe in the description below so look out for that. Also if you have any questions um, as we're going through please comment. Big Rick and Little Rick really enjoy all of the comments. They love going on there and responding. So if you have a comment about anything, regardless if it doesn't have anything to do with jam or not, please comment. So the blackberries are pretty much all mashed up. You can tell there's a lot of heat on those right now. It's starting to bubble up a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and add in the lemon juice and that's gonna be two tablespoons of lemon juice. Now, this bottled lemon juice is all that I have on hand. You can obviously use fresh lemon juice or if you have, if you have fresh lemons, that would probably taste better actually. And then we're going to stir this for about a minute until it has a heavy boil on it. Now since this is boiling really good, it's been about a minute, I'm going to go ahead and add in the two cups of sugar. It already smells so good. Okay, now we're just gonna let this come back up to a boil and let it cook for about five minutes until it starts getting much thicker. So this has to be stirred constantly, but while this is happening, um, we wrote up here the first and last video in this kitchen um, because in about a week we're going to be moving out of this house and starting our next journey living on the farm. We're super excited to have a lot more room. This kitchen, we've lived in this house almost 10 years now and it's it's been a good house for us, but with the five of us, it, we've just outgrown it. Um, this is only a three bedroom house and the boys, as they're getting older and getting bigger, they're just, it's too cramped in their bedroom that they have to share. We're, um, the house that we're moving into is going to be much roomier for them. At least they'll be able to have their own bedrooms. Now, having never made jam, mm, that does smell good. Having never made jam before, I'm assuming that all of the bubbling, as was described in the recipe that I had, 
is normal. We're wanting it to get up to about 220 degrees. So the, it starts to get a lot thicker, which is what the sugar helps do. Since we're not adding pectin to this, it'll have the consistency of syrup. We're gonna give this a couple more minutes and then we're gonna check it to find out if it's thick enough. If it's not thick enough, we can just boil it again. And if it's ready, we'll move it to the jars. I only have two jamming jars, which I borrowed from Lala. She was kind enough to let me borrow those so we didn't have to run out and buy some. Um, I've already sterilized those in my Instant Pot, which is good for everything. I love my Instant Pot. If I couldn't talk you into anything, I have to try and talk you guys into buying an Instant Pot. I use mine for, I would use it every single day. I'd cook every meal in it if I could. That is literally the only appliance in our house if it broke right now. I would run to Walmart and grab her another one. So I use my Instant Pot on steam for one minute to sterilize my jars. Um, and in the meantime, while the jam is boiling, I've got boiling water in my jars to keep the jars warm. So you're not putting hot, hot stuff into cold jars and risk the jars breaking. So that looks really thick to me. I'm gonna turn the heat off and keep stirring for a little while. This should coat the back of a spoon if it's ready. So now that the jam has stopped bubbling up so much, I'm gonna just use the spoon that I measured the lemon juice with to test to see if it's thick enough. And I would say that that is good. It's definitely coating it. And we're gonna move these over to the jars. Okay, I have my jamming jars here. We're going to, I don't have anything to pick the jars up. I know that they make contraptions to pick jars up hot jar, for stuff like this. I don't have anything like that. Um, I'm gonna do my best with a pot holder to not burn myself and to hopefully just dump that out. Maybe tongs will work. We'll use my tongs. Oh yeah. I know they make contraptions that make things like this a lot easier, but I don't have any of those. The tongs are working perfectly fine. Now, like I said earlier, those have had boiling water in them just to keep the jars warm for the process of putting the jam in there. So we don't have a funnel, but I have this. It came with my Instant Pot, I believe, for rice or something. It's got a little lip on it, so we're gonna try and get it into the jars with spilling as little as possible. So the trick with this is to try and get as much in the jar with leaving a quarter inch of room um, at the top. This might not be enough for two full jars, but we've got plenty of blackberries to try it again. And I have to say, I snuck this taste when I was cleaning up and it is really good. It's really hot right now, but it's really good. So not quite two full jars, but I think that's okay for our first time. have a better idea now of how many berries we can use. The next thing 
we do is we're going to loosely put these on and just hand, just finger tight, I think is what they say. We don't want it to get too, too tight because the, we don't want the pressure to build up in there too much. And these are going to cool at room temperature for a couple of hours. Now with these, if you want to can them, um, you definitely can. That helps preserve them longer. Um, since we only have two jars, I'm not really worried about canning these. Um, if you know how to can and would like to preserve your jelly, your jam a lot longer, um, then it would be pretty simple to do that. I would personally do it in my instant pot. <laughs> um, that's just, it's so simple to use. Um, if you were to do it that way and put it in the instant pot, it would just be on steam with the valve open for about 10 minutes. And then you would let it sit for 10 minutes after you start, um, after the pin pops up and let it naturally release for 10 more minutes. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell for future videos. Thank you for watching. Mm, that's good. Mmm, taste it. Okay. I got it. Mm. Oh wow. Yeah, that's really good. Tastes like candy. It's like candy. I mean, it's still hot. Mm -hmm. But it's